Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. This video is going to be all about the concealers that I use. Yeah, YouTube is all about concealing reality, right? I mean, I've read and listened to, I think it was Wayne Goss recently did a video and said that people use filters and all that stuff. Well, I'll tell you, I have never used a filter at all. Um, I have, however, used lights. I do have a ring light. I do have other lights. And if I didn't have a ring light, if I didn't have those lights on, this is what this shot would look like. I definitely agree this is definitely better. I mean, you get to see a little bit more. You, you know, it's lighter, it's brighter, it's more pleasing. Of course, lighter and brighter makes me look better, but I have a high definition camera. And have you ever watched like some of the newscasters and they've got all the lights and they've got everything, but you can see every pore? Well, high definition cameras don't hide that stuff. You know, um, they just don't. So anyways, but what does hide that stuff, what can conceal the pores, the redness, a little bit of this, a little bit of that is concealers. So I've often said that concealers are really difficult for me. They really are. So if you are interested in finding out what I use for concealers, Stay tuned. Whew. Yeah, concealers. You know, I have a lot of redness on my face. I have a lot of veins. You know, I try very hard to start out with a color corrector after I do my skincare. I try to do a color corrector on the veins on my nose especially because no matter what they're popping through now you know if you if I zoom in maybe you can see them uh, but they're definitely there and I try to do a color corrector and the one that I basically have been using forever is this one by Maybelline and you know you can squeeze it up a little bit and I'll show you how it looks this big green thing sitting on my nose but anyways I normally will use a color corrector on my skin in the morning when I, you know, after I've done my skincare and all that stuff, I'll use a color corrector and this is normally what I do. And then I use the e.l.f. Putty Primer and I put that usually on my nose and in some of the areas where my, um, you know, where my pores and where I have a lot, I want to fill in my pores because the e.l.f. Putty Primer on me works really well for filling in my pores and kind of giving me a smoother canvas, so to speak. Not really the best, but a smoother canvas. I put that on after I've put the color corrector on. I don't know if I'm doing right or wrong, but that's that's what I do. Put the color corrector on, then I put my e.l.f. Poreless Putty, and I love this. This is probably the third one I've had. I think this color that I use is just the Universal, Universal Share. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. I need to get, I think I have my backup already. I'm not too sure. I'll have to go look in my backup stash. So then I would put that on, but I kind of let the green dry in. I pat it in a little bit, but then I let it just dry a little bit so it doesn't get smushied. And then I put the Elf Poilus Putty Primer, especially on my nose. Sometimes I go up here on my forehead where I have some big pores. Um, I should do more on my chin. I never really do. I let that dry. And then I have played around with so many i have stacks of concealers i can't even fit them all in my hands i have stacks of concealers and i'm not going to talk about them all because i'd be here forever but i will tell you really quickly the ones that i don't use at all at all i have a hard candy glamouflage everyone said this was a really good concealer never worked on me i have revlon candid this one never worked on me some of them, the colors were wrong. Some of them, they just didn't cover. You know, they didn't cover. And then some of the others that I use, like especially, you know, in the summertime around my eyes, and I, and I realize, you know, you have to really use it around your eyes all the time for uh, protection, for wrinkles and all that. But in the summertime, I thought it'd be really good to get a concealer that had sunblock in. I use the It Cosmetics 50 SPF. I bought that, think, figuring I could use that in the summertime. Yeah. Even when I warm it up on my hands and then I put it in, I have a hard time with it. I do, however, like the color science, but the color's wrong. So I have, I don't know if you can even see it. The color in the color science, as you push down, it becomes a little pump. Is just too... 
I don't know, too peachy, too, too peachy, I think, for me. However, if you blend this in, it does kind of dissipate, so it's not too bad. But that's a summer concealer. But the thing is, I have to be super careful where I put it because I think whatever I put under my eyes is going to show my defects a lot more. So whatever concealer that I'm using, and usually the ones of choice, I've used a lot of the, this is the Instant Age Rewind. This is super, super popular. You can see if I've used a lot of it. It is not my favorite. It is probably number four on my list, but I use it. But it is just not my favorite. I also use, and I've tried to use the Bye Bye Under Eye concealer and this will I will never use this on my eyes because it just is too thick but I will dab a little bit of this on my hand a little bit is all you need and I will use that on my veins kind of warm it up it's really thick 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 I put this on my eyes and you're going to see all these wrinkles pop up it's just really not good for me on my eyes but it will work as a concealer on my nose so that's what I end up doing with it but so you know this is a little bit further down in the totem pole I absolutely love the essence color corrector I use the pink one every morning when I have my makeup on I just go around the inside of my eyes and it just kind of boosts me makes me look more awake I think it looks really good on my skin but I have so many different concealers. The, this one was really a, dis, a disappointment. This is Garnier. This is the, it's got like a roller ball. I could never put this under my eyes. Never. This, this just, the color is wrong, but it's just way, way too heavy a coverage under my eyes. I can't, there's no way. There's no way. It does great on my hands, but not under my eyes. So what I use the majority of the time is the Boeing, and I have three in a tube. Do I have three in a tube, or do I have a fourth one? I thought I had a fourth one, but I have three in a tube, different colors. So in the summertime, I'll use the number three, the industrial strength number three. Then I have an industrial strength number two that I use most of the time. I, I love these. These are heavy-duty concealers. Obviously, none of this is going to go under my eyes, but they'll go on my nose. I'll put them sometimes in my deeper um, Marionette lines, whatever you want to call them. So I have two industrial strengths, and then I have another number two. This is not an industrial strength, but this is just a softer, nicer concealer in the sense that it really spreads. This is more perfect for here, whereas the industrial ones are here. But then I have these two. This is a liquid. So if I'm going to do in the morning under my eyes, I have this is much better for the darker spots under my eyes than even my Age Rewind or any of my It Cosmetics. It's just way better under my eyes than this for me. However, this is the one I absolutely love. And this is the stick and it has, a, it's very, very, it's non-drying. Now I know I, I use it a lot so you can't really see it. But in the middle it's clear and then you have the color around it. I use that, it just a little dab, I fill in the dark spots. And then I'm going to, you know, either use my sponge of choice, which is what I normally do. Of course it's hard when you're putting on this stuff on top of makeup. But this, if I'm going to leave the house, this is the one I carry with me because I can do touch-ups with this. It's very moist. It's non-drying. It does some coverage. It feels really, really good on my skin for under eyes. I wouldn't use it anywhere else, but my under eyes, this is where I'm going to, where I'm going to go. And I usually have this particular one and this one. This is my number two, the one that spreads a little easier. If I want to touch up, like say my nose or something like that, I might have one of these in my purse. But these are my concealers of choice. Every single one of these I have purchased. And it, with the exception of this one, which I haven't even talked about, which is the um, Billion Dollar. I have to change the battery so I don't know if I'm in the same position or not. But this was the only one of all these concealers that I've talked about that was actually gifted to me for a review. And this is the Billion Dollar Beauty. And I really like it. However, the highlighter I liked a lot. The concealer for me, it just didn't cover as well as my other concealers. 
but I love the highlighter. I thought the highlighter was really nice, really nice. I probably just need a different color in the concealer, but the highlighter, yeah, really nice. Not, not like spaceship highlighter. So I do like this. That was sent to me in exchange for a review. But all the other concealers that I've talked about, I, I purchased. I have a whole basket of concealers that didn't work for me. I only brought in the ones that most recently I've tried. I am always on a quest. There is nothing that I have found that will hide my veins completely. You know, they just, they just won't. I have... I have found my veins have been a lot better since I use CBD oil on my skin at night. However, um, they just, it just really, they never go away and they sort of bleed through. I hate to use that phrase, but they come through your concealer after time. They, they still pop out. And that's why I try to start with the green color corrector, let it dry, and then I put on my e.l.f. Putty Primer on top of it. But by the time I get that on there, I can start to see the veins through there again. And, um, and so I've tried at times to do the green, let it dry, and then do the concealer, and then put the putty primer on. I've tried many different ways. But those darn veins, they just always pop through. It doesn't matter what I do. They always pop through. So... Yeah, it's an, it's, a, it's an ongoing quest for me, you know, to try to figure out what I can use for a concealer because they're, uh, they're, I, I, when you're 66 and you have all these wrinkles under your eyes, you don't want to be putting concealer under there. I don't care. I mean, maybe if you have a filter on your camera, um, which I have not figured out. I mean, I film on a camera, not an iPhone, or I don't use my cam my phone for a camera. So my camera is high definition, and I I don't know. I use iMovie to edit. I don't have not seen a filter in iMovie. There are filters, but they change the whole color of your video afterwards. There's nothing that I've seen that says smooth your face. There is a romantic filter which will blur the background, which I think is super nice. Um, but I haven't seen one that's going to, you know, get rid of your imperfection. So I really don't know what filters Wayne Goss was referring to, but I'd like to know. <laughs> Might help me. <laughs> Maybe that's, um, you know, it's really difficult, I think, being a, a older woman on YouTube because most of the people that watch YouTube want to see young and pretty. And the older mature women are usually more invisible. We have smaller channels. We don't grow as quick as, say, a younger, more beautiful woman. It's going to be a fluke when you grow. Um, you've got to have a real viral video, something that just really took off. Or you have to have shout-outs by someone that's huge, continuous shout-outs. And then the thing with the shout-outs, if you have a shout-out from someone that has a huge channel, if your content isn't what they expect, they're not going to stay. You know, they're just simply not going to stay. So, um, yeah, it can be hard being a mature beauty guru, so to speak, because we are sort of invisible. And um, maybe there's a whole world of filters out there. I haven't figured out how to use them. It could be my age. I don't know. But I'd be really curious. I wanted to leave him a message. I'm sure he would not have ever answered me, but I wanted to leave him a message. Can you tell me what those filters are? <laughs> maybe it can make me look younger. <laughs> And that might help my channel growth. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that's my concealers. I have to say hands down, the Boeing concealers, all the ones I have, they, I have the most of them. I use them the most. They are my number one concealers. They are sort of more tried and true, although I keep getting, when there's a new thing out, when there's, there's a hook for that new product, they're always going to conceal, going to be awesome. Or another person is talking about how great it looks under the eyes. And then I get so tempted, then I try it. I put it under my eyes, and my eyes look like, you know, oh, it just looks horrible, horrible. Um, lines and wrinkles and crimply skin and ugh, it just, so, yeah. So I just, I think I have to just kind of stick to my Boeing, which is by benefit, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, because that seems to be, so far, what has worked for me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you can. I truly appreciate every single one of you and appreciate your support 100%. Thank you.